In many ways a holiday is going back to your true self minus the day-to-day -day pressure of work and home. We travel back in time to our rather pristine origins. In other words, a journey to our true nature. Welcome to Swap to Green and I'm Swapna. My trip to Christchurch was no exception. Fortunately, the unhurried pace of life at this beautiful city added to my own slowness, much needed in today's time of supersonic living. Hi friends, today we are at the Christchurch Botanical Gardens located in the central city of Christchurch in New Zealand. Covering an area of 21 hectares, this beautiful garden lies adjacent to the loop of the Avon River and the Hagley Park. We will have a tour of the Avon River as well, but not today. It was founded in 1863 when an English oak was planted to mark the occasion of the marriage of Prince Albert and Princess Alexandra of Denmark. Here we can find a variety of exotic and local plants of New Zealand and it's a bird watcher's paradise too. As we stroll along, we can see drifts of daffodils, cozy conservatories to explore over winter and spectacular rhododendrons and roses. What you see behind me is the beautiful rhododendrons also known as the mother of pearls. Who doesn't love roses? From good looks, delicious scent, used in cuttings and also easy to grow, they provide a sensory overload than any other flowers do. So today, let's enjoy its beauty. A devotion to modern roses that are bred for continual flowering and colour, uh, we are going to enter the central rose garden. Let's go ahead and enjoy guys. The Rose Garden has over 250 varieties of modern cultivar roses and was established in 1909. It contains cultivars and hybrids of modern garden roses including bush, climbing, standard and miniature roses. As you enter the Rose Garden, you are welcomed by the fragrance that wafts through the air. Today, let's talk about some of the roses that I really loved. If you like brightly coloured roses, Tequila Sunrise is for you. Quoting Sally Allison's book Shrub Roses, as fiery as its cocktail namesake and as dazzling as a sunrise. With rich deep yellow petals and etched in hot scarlet red, it's very popular in Europe and New Zealand. These are brilliant flowers for picking and can provide a gorgeous display as they flower repeatedly and can grow in any soil type. They have a light fragrance and produces large blooms. Next, let's talk about Rosa Brown Velvet, which is noted for its depth of colour, vigour and overall health. With its velvety texture and frequent re-blooming, you can plant them on garden beds or pots. I'm definitely going to get them at home as they bloom from late spring to frost. It has a mild fragrance and is a bushy plant which grows up to 3 to 4 feet. I'm crazy about roses, but this was something else altogether. And the names, Rosa Memoir, Rosa Many Happy Returns, Rosa City of London, all these are part of the collection. Gorgeous to admire with wonderful names to match. Next to the Rose Garden is the Tropical Plant Conservatory with ferns, cacti and flowering plants. You can imagine, at any given time, it's full of blooms that come alive in succession. Here you find plants collected from the world over, Asia, Europe, South Africa and North and South America, worth a detailed visit. The conservatory called Cunningham House has the most exotic collection of tropical and subtropical plants including Peperomia, Hoya, Anthurium and Dracania. The heat is maintained to match the steam tropical climate so that these rare plants can thrive in this part of the world. Our government takes plant conservation seriously and as you can see, I am absolutely at home here.
Now for some cacti. In the Garrick house, named after Mr. M. Garrick, who donated his large and personal collection in the 1950s. Here, you will find the most extensive range of cacti in the whole of New Zealand. There is also a diorama that depicts a desert scene to represent the landscape where cacti grow in South Africa or South America. Let our noses take us to the next section. Yes, the exquisitely fragrant flowers section in the town and house. It was set up back in 1955 to 57 to grow popular greenhouse plants, including cyclamen, begonias, impatiens, primulas, stalk, and calanchoes. Colors are nature's bounty, gifts from God. What's more pleasing than just abundance of hues? Whites that are whitest, colors that are brightest palette from God, brush strokes by nature. For those who are unsure, stalk is an annual plant that produces fragrant, long-lasting flowers on its long stems. Though native in the Mediterranean, it's made New Zealand its second home. Likewise, Colin Covies have come a far distance all the way from Madagascar. These flourish in arid environments and are easy to care for and they bloom around the year. For more, check my video on growing Colin Covies at home. The link is in the description. Closer home, New Zealand is rich in some of the most extraordinary plants in the world. We are fortunate to have here the Water Garden, Herb Garden, Heritage Rose Garden, Temperate Asian Border and plenty more. But I guess a break here would be a good idea. My break continues, but sometimes even a break needs a break. So let's take a small pause here. Do come back for more interesting stories and snippets from Christchurch. Till we meet again, this is Swapna signing off. Meanwhile, think green, act green, swap to green.